Yeah, here we go. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome to the special live stream. This is the first episode of the VTDD Live. It's actually the 920th episode of Virtual Truck Driver Diaries as a whole. But uh, yeah, we thought we'd take it live for a little bit. Cause a couple of people have been asking me. Well, not a couple. A lot of people asked me, especially towards the end of last year, if I would do some live stuff with uh, VTDD and ETS2. So I said, actually, yeah, why not? Anything is, I broke my finger last week so well thankfully I'm not wearing the gloves because they've still got the tape on them so my very expensive racing gloves are currently wrecked at the minute um, but anyway, apart from that hello everybody welcome how are we all doing this evening uh, I am on my own currently but I know there's going to be some people coming in and out of the chat at some point so hello if you're going to come in and hi so What's been going on recently, I haven't played this game for about a month because I recorded so many episodes in advance, so I've not been on for about a month. I've been playing ATS, American Truck Sim, good game. We're playing that tomorrow night, I think. If I can get back from the hospital quick enough, we'll be playing it tomorrow. So, hopefully look out for that. It's probably going to be about 8 o'clock way or something around that way. But, so we're on a job. You're going to see my little ticker thing here. It's randomly there because I kind of don't want to move it because everything's all set up for my uh, esports. So I don't want to move anything at the minute. But we are currently in Istanbul. If you watch the final episode on, well, the last episode to be pre recorded on YouTube, you'll know that. Oh, yeah, don't even get me started, right? I uploaded 9 16 uh, about two weeks ago because I upload on a Monday. And then my esports normally comes in on a Wednesday or Thursday, and then I've got an episode for Friday. So I've loaded 9.16 for last Friday, and it goes live, it premieres, and then I get a blip, and I get an email. So I open the emails from YouTube, copyright strike. I'm like, okay, I haven't used any copyrighted stuff. So I listen through to the, because when you do get a copyright claim, they give you a little snippet of when you know the time period to listen to it to if you can hear it. Do you know what it is? It's the greatest showman. It's because my dad was watching the greatest showman while building his little um, train model and he was watching that. Very good film. Really love it. Enjoy it. And we could hear the greatest showman. The, you know the scene where they're doing the um, slack F runners and they are ropey bit. It was that. And we, we could hear it taintly but it was in the background. And then they get another copyright strike and another one and another one and another one. And what the fifth one really, really peed me off, right? The fifth one. The sound of wind was similar to a song. I stuck my head out the window to reverse, like I normally do. Well, if you watch it on YouTube, you'll know that I stick my head out the window t to reverse. And the sound of the wind was similar to a song. No word of a lie, I'm genuinely not, you know, I'm not BSing you here or anything. The sound of the wind. Yeah, exactly. Do you know what I mean? Pointless, ridiculous. I understand that they've got algorithms and everything, but seriously. So, this is my last dog. <laughs> so, to give you a bit of background, if you haven't watched VTDD but you're watching live, hello. Um, I have driven in two VCC VTCs of virtual trucking companies, as the light trucking companies, but for ETS2 and, and American Truck now. And about, oh God, I started VTDD back in what? Uh, 21st October 2015. I've got it written there. I should just, just look at it, because everything important is hanging off the bottom of my monitor on a sticky note. And I started on the 21st of October 2015. Then we went for 138 episodes, I am reading it now. 138 episodes, and then I had to have two weeks off because the window people came and they removed this window here and I have another one in the bathroom and they needed to come out um, and it brought some asbestos with them and unfortunately it set me off and my allergies and I needed to have a couple of weeks off so I ruined the streak I was on and then I went for 538 days <laughs> without missing one that was, that was back when it was virtual truck driver daily now the second deed doesn't stand for daily, it stands for diaries because I am pushing, you know, I've got other things I need to do and I haven't got the time to edit 
I haven't got time to edit during the day and um, yeah so unfortunately I dropped it back to two a week and I'm dropping it back to one a week so I've streamed this now on Monday nights and then the episode this stream will go live on Friday so you can watch it live on today or you can watch it live on Friday or well, you can watch it recorded live on Friday when it gets uploaded so yeah effectively we're going down to one episode a week um, but it needs to be done for a while until I get a couple couple of uh, bits spare and then boom so we are traveling on our very last job as a subcontractor oh there no, go back to the VTC sorry uh, I was I'd driven for two VTCs in f five and a half years so I've driven for Swift Haulage uh, Swift Group VTC sorry I drove for them for four and a half four and a half years um, and I left to join some friends over at night and I stayed deaf for about a year well sort of eight months eight months between eight months and a year and then I was like no nah. I was I was done with the game I was just done with it all the politics and everything and ever since then I've been on well, I had some time off away and then I've come back now and I've been on my own for enough that I needed to get my head sorted so I couldn't commit to a full time VTC role plus with my esports now I couldn't you know, it, it takes it takes a while, but so yeah, I am joining a new A. As as I get to the important bit, it actually turns up. Hello. Hello. How are you? Yeah, not bad, mate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, I'm in pain, but I'm good. Broke my finger last night. Well, last oh, week. Yeah, you said. Yeah, I broke it. I broke it last Thursday, and then I fell out of bed this morning. Oh God. Yeah. Uh, no, hang on, I didn't explain the route. So we're going on the last run as a subcontractor. Uh, I'm going from Istanbul to Berlin. And why am I going from Istanbul to Berlin, Aaron? Well, you are currently now a full fledged member of ASA International. Yep. Joined Saturday, one not it? Saturday afternoon? Yeah, you yeah. joined okay. Saturday Here afternoon. Yeah, something about that. Anyway, how mm. are you? Yeah, not bad. Yeah, cool, um, cool. Confirmation that your lorry is uh, currently sitting in the yard. Thank you very much. Right. So, uh, so it's all, it all seems easier when you're pre-recorded because you could just edit out the bits that you don't like. <laughs> oh no. That. Here we go. Oh, we did pull. That's why. I had my foot on throttle when it didn't want to move. <laughs> That was embarrassing. But yeah, for I think for your first delivery, you're going from Germany to the UK somewhere. Oh, okay. Not sure yet. I've got a couple of uh, contractors that need a few hauls done. So. Okay. Just send us wherever. Yeah, you no worries. I, I, I don't right mind right Germany to the UK. Well, it's just a few new additions we've got uh, part of the VTC. So. Yeah. Turn left. No worries. Um, also, if, when you are oh. in the UK, I might uh, Sorry, get oh, you yeah. on uh, some supermarkets. Turn right. Oh, they're the best. So we have little subcontract firms out for Tesco's, Asda, uh, Morrison's. Ah, uh, the usual. Bainbury's. It's basically we do a little bit here and there with everyone. So. Yeah. Exit now. Well, everybody's going to need out of these times we've got going on, isn't it? Oh, that's it. And there's a few other additions that are happening as well that uh, are going to be benefiting you in some ways. Keep right. Hey, I'll take it. And then exit <laughs> right. But yeah. So how many drivers? I was going to say how many drivers you got on fleet now. On fleet? Oh, now you're asking. I haven't looked in about two weeks. Oh, okay. Uh, let me have a look. Total drivers, including you, is 15. Wow. And manager staff. Oh, uh, yeah. So everybody is 15. Nice. Yeah, everyone in total 15. Jesus. Try and keep him busy, mate. It's. Yeah. So, it's something that we've done for ages. As you know, like yeah. I've had new DCs that have been around and disappeared. Yeah, and then suddenly we come back to light. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. 
but this one we thought about closing about two months ago as uh, we oh, had a few. You? Yeah, we had a few little issues appear. And left, okay. And then exit left. We got them resolved quite recently, about a week and a half, two weeks ago. And exit left. You know how it is when something yeah. happens and you don't really want to deal with it straight away. Well, hang on, I got beeping. Oh, I'm in Turkey for the first time. Oh, please use the right, most right gate. Okay. Watch. Please watch Stop the at the truck stay and activate the icon. Oh, they bring the way stations in from ATS. Yeah, they're gonna have way stations and um, oh, cool. check ports as well. So, I know I've been through one. I've been through one where it goes go through the X-ray machine. I'm like, what X-ray machine? Drive up to a building, and then suddenly it all opens up. Yeah, that's cool. That was that. It's like in uh, one thirty-seven, you have windows and stuff now as well. Caution. Yeah. Please mind the speed. That was in yeah. ATS because Air suspension yeah. and adjusting. It's brilliant. Air suspension. Oh, for the cab. Yeah, so you yeah. can, like an American truck, you can drop the suspension of your cab. Oh. Okay, didn't know that. And there's a lot of things that ETS and ATS are bringing back, which I think are really good. Ah, I was going to say, cause when, when ATS first came out, everybody asked about the way stations, and SCS were like, well, we're not going to put them in, and then suddenly they're here now, so... I'm not it's moaning. Yeah, they're yeah. only doing it in the new developed areas, though. They're only doing it in like Turkey, Italy, and bits like that at the minute. Oh, okay. Italy's got them as well. I don't know if they're going to bring out a patch for later on where they add it to the UK and stuff. I'm just thinking about pro mods at the Channel Tunnel. Oh, fun. <laughs> yeah. It's the full shebang now. Yeah. That's, that's actually going to take up a lot of space. There's a there's a lot happening oh, yeah. within the ETS community at the minute, which is really good. Like Pro Mods is developing quite considerably. They've always added new stuff. Yeah, I do hear patches on the way. I'm not too sure when though, but I have heard. But oh, it, updating it, them. I was gonna say it took forever for it to get updated yeah. to 1.36, and then and then with the Herky coming out, that put another spanner in the works and then with one thirty it's like literally twelve hours between pro mods going, yeah we've got you know, we've got one for latest patch and then they yeah. go, Oh no, one thirty seven's coming next week. That's always the way though, isn't it? Yeah. That ETS gets things done and then all of a sudden pro mods drops and then there's another major update. Yeah, definitely. So I need to keep an eye on the chat on the other monitor because I was gonna use my race lab one that I used for racing and it was like Oh yeah, it all worked last night testing, and I've gone to load it up this morning, and it's like, nope. <laughs> so I'm like, thanks. <laughs> there's, a, uh, there's a few adventures you'll be put on soon as well. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. Oh, I've uh, recently got a contract hauling out of Edinburgh down to Cyprus. Bloody hell, that's a 4000k trek. Yes. Jeez. Um, Put me on that. <laughs> I've done two. You've done two. Well, I've done two, but I think there's about 15 in total that need to be dropped. That. Yeah, talk about long hauling. Oh, I love long hauls. I've been up yeah. to Iceland from Cyprus with a um, ex excavator on heavy haul. I think the latest, without using the dispatch software, I, when I was out on my on my own, should we say, out in the cold. The thing, the longest I could get was about a thousand kilometres, unless I added rust mapping, and then they were getting up to like five thousand, six thousand. It was like, no, that's a bit too long. Because <laughs> I work out if I play by the rules of everything, it takes me a real hour to do seven hundred and fifty ETS kilometres. Yeah. That's the thing with us, though. We are very realistic. So, uh, yeah, I know. Uh, why we kind of approached you and went, well, yeah. what do you think? Considering I've been badgering you for about the last two months. so Yeah, <laughs> it is what it is. You, you wanted what you want. Keep you? left. Have they added what? rain effects things? It feels quite slippy. Uh, what, on the roads and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I was going to say, it's feeling quite slippy. But I'm actually considering backing down on the cruise. Oh, I say I'm backing down on the cruise, go to do it, and it stops raining. 
<laughs> I do like the fact you have to turn the wipers off as well from now on instead of just cycling around. I like that they've added the extra stage as well, so instead of it being like the three, it goes to the fourth stage and... Yeah, crazy wipers. Yeah. They've added new sound effects as well, haven't they? Yeah, they've added everything. I know, I was playing ETS last night, um, just to make sure everything was working for tomorrow night. And the clicks are off put in, but they're really good. Oh, yeah. And then you accidentally knock the keyboard and the window goes down, and you're just sat there for about 100 miles going, how do I, how do I make the window go back up because it's a bit too loud? <laughs> and then you pull the window back up and it goes to be quiet, and you're like, huh? That's the only thing I'm looking forward to in 137 is as I've got my uh, Scania V8. I have that window open all oh, the time. Oh, I didn't think of that. <laughs> don't, don't the sound mods have to be changed though? No, because they've already got two textures, ain't uh, two sound noises, didn't they? So if you look out your window, oh, it gets yeah. louder anyway. Oh, I didn't think of that. So now I've got a nice open pipe V8 appearing. Oh, is that the newest acquisition? Oh, there's a few. There's a, a few. <laughs> I've got uh, a DAF appear. Well, my old DAF that went in for repair. Was that the 105? Yeah, no, the 106. Do you know my Hacksaw Ridge? Yes, the red one. That went in for repair because me being a you. bit stupid one night, we were driving down to Italy and I thought, do you know what, I can go past my sleep hours. No. No. And fell asleep and ended up on the other side of the motorway upside down. Okay. So That's actually that really one, good. I've actually had to turn that off to make this more realistic yeah. because it was going to sleep literally before I was at, I would haul from Birmingham down to well Germany and by the time I got out of France he'd already start sleeping mm. and it's like no and then you realise the channel tunnel's costing you three hours of drive time yeah I'm um, sure that that shifted like that I'm surprised the truck didn't break again but there will be a, a couple things that will uh, help you in the future. I know. Thank you. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm actually really looking forward to it, mate. I'm not going to lie. Oh, you're always welcome here, mate. Yeah, I know. There's always a new truck appearing on the fleet every other week, so... <laughs> yeah. Uh, I won't lie, uh, I, had a, I had an offer from somewhere else. Oh, did you? Yeah, it was Dean. Ah, oh, that wouldn't surprise me. No. But he's all cool. He's all cool, his idea, but uh, yeah, it's just a few old style lorries coming out of our restoration yard at the minute. I seen, I did see yeah. the fateful one, uh, one four three appearing. Yeah, proper proper trucking back in the day. Oh, yeah, you got it. yeah, there's a few tandems appearing as well. Nice. There's, there's a lot happening. It's Mm. At the minute, everything seemed to fall in place. Well, from sounds like from two months ago to now, you've done a year's worth of work. Oh, and a bit more, I think. Oh, well, yeah. But at the moment, I've got a few things planned that will be coming out on my channel over the weekend. Nice. I told you you should come back. Oh, I'm coming back now. I've, I've, I play a little bit of Call of Duty and stuff, so that will be coming out on the channel. Please use the rightmost key. Oh, I'm being stopped again. Oh yeah, you'll get stopped the whole way through Turkey, pretty much. Okay. Push. Please watch yeah, the Yeah, I'm, I'm downshifting as quick as the gearbox I like to go down. <laughs> Please, man. I do love that, that actually sat nav. I didn't... You know when I first came back, I thought, what? About September? Yeah. And they just added it in. And I was driving along, and I, I won't lie, I absolutely made myself jump, smashed my knees on the rig and everything, because she went, please continue straight on, and I'm like, whoa, what was that? <laughs> next next thing I know is, both my knees are on the bottom of my rig. Caution, please mind the speed limit. I am minding the speed limit, stop being annoying. But yeah, I've got a, a new venture appearing on the channel. I'm going to be building my own button box over the weekend, so... Nice. Oh, a lot of people ask me for advice on that. Get um, If you can't afford a proper button box, because they are expensive, use a uh, wireless number pad, and then just... Yeah. yeah. 
But I'm, I've found if I make my own one, it's cheaper than buying one. Wow, okay. So you'll buy, like, if you've got the key ignition one and stuff. Yeah. You'll spend 70 quid. Uh, yeah, that's um, what my normal guy's charging, yeah. If if you go and buy the parts, it's like £50. It's like 20 quid cheaper, plus the shipping, plus... Alright then, if you want to do that, I recommend going on the Ed Tracker website. You know, I use that Ed Tracking. Yeah. Yeah, go on there, you can build your own. This bloke's built one in a Tic Tac box. Really? Yeah, seriously, he's built his own Ed Tracking Pro. I brought mine ready made at like 50 quid because I'm crap when it comes to building. So, well, one of the, one of the pictures he do shows the bloke did it himself and he put it in a Tic Tac box. Oh, nice. Yeah. I was like, wow. He goes, yeah. So he goes, when he goes to his friend's house and his cousin's house, because I talked to him about it because I asked him, wow, how did you do that? And he said, yeah, it's for when I go out to the other rigs, you know, at my cousin's house, my best mate's house, we all, we all play ETS. So I thought, do you know what, I'll just put it in something I could put in my pocket or in my wallet. And I'm like, Makes sense. that's brilliant. So dead tracker, you, you only need a C port or a, it's a micro, it's either a micro port or a type C USB, I can't quite remember. But yeah. That's all you need, so it's, that's pretty much as thin as anything, isn't it? Yeah. But, yes, it's uh, interesting times. Oh, definitely. Definitely. I'm going to put, I think I might put all my rigs on the um, that um, buying thingy website. Oh yeah? That Dom, Dom runs, I don't know if you're on it. What, the uh, Pearson? Um, no, the one where you sell things. Well, you oh, pretend yeah. to sell them, if you get what I mean. Oh yeah, the buy and sell that's the ETS2 yeah, dealership. Yeah, that's the, yeah, the ETS2 dealership, yeah. I might put yeah, my stuff I'm on, on there. there. Every now and again, I buy a yeah. new truck. Or well, I thought you was out of the game. I won't lie. I genuinely thought you was out of the game. Game, and then I saw you. One day. Uh, we've we've just distanced away. I've got a a decent yeah. set of lads that work for us, and I've, we thought just keep ourselves to ourselves, get a name for ourselves, build up the VTC, then come out guns blazing, kind of thing. So yeah, I, I can understand. So now we've pretty much got a dream team set up. Now you've joined. Yeah, hey, I'm not. I'm only one bloke, mate. Uh, well, we've got drivers that do a million mile a month or a million mile a year. A million and miles a month. I remember the time when me and you did that. Oh, God. That night haulage, do you remember? Yeah. They were the they nights. Were, they were good old days. They were good old days. Jump on and go for a drive. Yeah, first thing you do, you'd come... Why has everybody stopped? Oh, I need to go straight on this one. Yeah, come home, have something to eat, log into TeamSpeak. Oh, God, TeamSpeak. Yeah, God, jeez. I haven't used TeamSpeak in years. Discord is the best thing ever invented. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Alright, so I'm going down a different There'll be a lot of controversy on that, but yeah, 100%, yeah, I do agree. When did I feel I joined Discord? God. About three years ago? Yeah. Been the best thing since. It's a bit slow, like, sending the messages to your phone. Yeah, I agree with that. Because I could see, I would see what some of my lads were talking about at what was Team Brit then. Forever changing gear or anything. Are you in manual? Yeah. yeah. Having a try. Uh, it's not that. I've got it in. I've got it set to automatic, so I can override it if I want to. Right. Because the foot and the pain sometimes is just. See, I like that customs officer. He doesn't give a. He just throws your barrier up and don't care. Yeah, he don't care. Yeah. I've got a bomb in the back, mate. Your total weight is 23 tons. You you can proceed. Oh, mate. <laughs> Can't run if it was like that in real life. Yeah. I was talking to Billy the other night. No, uh, I was talking to Billy. From the night. Go straight. Yeah, now a real life driver. 
Oh yeah, uh, best. Oh uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. He works for um, G Web. Yeah. Yeah. I love his truck. I love his collection he's got going. Oh, I want to start building a collection up in my room. I've I want to put a shelf up and get all like model trucks. I do it like Billy does, or have each truck on its own raised area. Yeah. I want to get one made in company colours. Oh, checking your documents, please wait. Everything is order. Have a nice journey. Just again. But there's a few new ventures appearing for me as a YouTuber and. Yeah, you were good at it when you was doing it. When I was doing it, it was grinding on sun like Sundays. I'd come home, yeah. I'd wake up at six in the morning, and I would record eight, ten videos a day, edit them, and upload them for the week ahead. I miss the days of doing that, but I don't at the same time. I well, I don't. I missed so much of my weekends. I missed having interaction with family, football. Yeah. Football, definitely. You know, playing, but. Yeah, whenever we go back. Oh, I doubt that. I doubt we'll be back any time before June. I don't think the season will finish. I don't think the season will restart. West Ham. What they should do <laughs> yeah, is on. just say this: this season is a dead season. Whatever's whatever. No one gets trophies. No one gets none of that, and just starts fresh next year. No, Liverpool get a title because they have been out in front all year. Whoa! What was that bang? Oh. <laughs> X-ray inspection successfully passed. I didn't go in the machine. Ah, I drove past the machine like a spanner. <laughs> oh well. Oh no, I'm in one now. Yeah, that's your X-ray now. Oh. I always wanted to know what happened if something come up and now nah, you have you have to stop, kind of thing. Well, somebody said apparently it's going to go to 18 wheels of steel. If you remember, where you can run, out, you can run at overweight. Oh yeah. Yeah, but that that was on Reddit, and we know we take Reddit with a pinch of salt, do we? Don't we? Yeah, it's true. But on Reddit, there's a couple of people saying that they've been told it's going to go to. You can pick your weight. I think ETS should have like a system in place where occasionally it goes over. And you have to pay a fine, things like that, make it a little bit more realistic. But yeah, God, that barrier is high. What was that? I'm a bit delayed. I'm watching your stream, so that's fine. Right. Thank you. That's all good, mate. I've uh, posted that in the Discord as well that you're streaming. So oh yeah, see you now. Thank you. That's all right, mate. Always um, welcome. You know that. Yeah, thank you. Always attend your streams on iRacing, oh. wherever you are I'm here. It's another one. I've never seen barriers that high before. No, they are really high, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. So what, what would your dream deliveries be then with ASO? Oh, definitely, definitely the retail ones. That's what. That's one of the things I love about pro mods is the, the you know, the littles. If you go, I mean. Yeah. Watch. Please watch. The I am speed. watching. The, oh no, I'm not watching the speed limit. I am now. Would you ever venture doing like heavy haul stuff or? Uh, I mainly save that for um, American truck. Right. Mainly. So you're more yeah. inside a fridge person. Yeah. Yeah. I'm more of give me a fridge and get it for the grey items and off I go. No, I'm um, more of a fridge. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. Everyone has their own choices. Yeah. Well, like I'd, me, I'd, I would rather drive heavy haul on ETS and fridges on ATS. Only because the trailers are way longer. Oh, I hate the ATS heavy hauls. They're all right if you learn how to drive them, and you got the, if you got a right spec with truck, and you have a total disregard for the AI, then you're safe as far as I'm concerned. But if you try, if you try and do it sensibly on ATS, is you know, it's impossible. 
Yeah. Because there's loads, there's them special transport loads to get the police escort and everything that are smaller and less weighted than the ones you don't. Yes. Especially the forest ones they brought in. They were... How was it? 95 tonnes. Yeah, because I had to go through a, a way station. So it's called 95 tonnes. Mm, jeez. Yeah, and it's like, well, in this country, you know, I wouldn't even be allowed to drive on the road, let alone, you know, without a police escort. And then you get to one, and you get a police escort because it's hanging over by about two inches. Yeah. And it's like, not the fact that this, you know, 95 ton crane's got a trailer that's got six articulation points. Well, five. Five if you don't include the truck. If you include... Are you going to let me out? Yes you are, thank you very much. I hate cars that do that, they'll sit there and not even flash to tell you you're going to yeah, go. they hover, I hate that. I mean you'll sit there and then all of a sudden you're pretty much on the barrier, it's like, oh, okay, I'm going now. Yeah, it's like, I've got to go because there's no road left. <laughs> As we speak, I'm currently customising a uh, new truck for me. Oh yeah, what are you getting? I was going to use the S-Series that I showed you. Yeah. But some of the mods crashed my game. And okay. Alright, I'll spend a bit of money on them, but... Oh yeah. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm honestly debating. Do I go to... My old, well, not my old, my airbrushed Scania, my 6 Series. That's the S in it. No, no, 6 Series Sniper, oh, what is it called? Uh, American Sniper. American Sniper. Yeah, that one. That cool film, actually, I really enjoyed that. Ah, oh, brilliant film. Yeah. Everybody's like, oh, it's way too long now. It's just long enough, but it's not short enough to, you know, take the mick. Yeah. It's a proper good film. And then you watch them, then Lone Survivor, Deepwater Horizon, there's your day done. Oh, yeah. My favourite war film at the minute, though, is Hacksaw Ridge. Is that the one where he goes out into battle without a weapon? That's it. Yeah. I haven't, I, honestly, I won't lie, I haven't seen that one. I've heard about it because people go... Oh my god, he actually went out without a weapon. Oh, you've got to watch it. It's definitely a film I'd recommend. Ah, uh, we're all good. Um, I wouldn't have got a track airbrushed on it if I didn't like it. Yeah, true. You are a man of impeccable taste. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> but, there's, there's a few things that... I'm trying to venture out and do yeah. with the BTC, as I said, like, as you suggested the other day with uh, looking at subcontractors. Yeah, it just adds more fun to it, different colours, and I'm keeping left you noisy cow. Um, no, nobody's going down there because that bit's closed. I do like that as well. I what the road closures? Yeah, the detours and the um, yeah. Oh, the one I keep getting in ATS is one where ambulances are fire engines and and it's one lane closed and yet the AI still bomb past there at like 55, 60 mile an hour. Yeah. And just like whoa, and you back it down, and you go through slowly. I'm I don't back it down because I'm like oh look at that. Yeah, I want to have a look. Exactly. Yeah. Right, if I'm getting slowed down, I want to know what's happening. <laughs> you know, I'm not stupid enough to do what these people do on Twitter and take photos and videos. Oh no, I wouldn't do that. But I'd have a good look. Oh, everyone's got to be nosy. Oh, everyone's yeah. got to see stuff. Well, until it gets a bit too gruesome, then I run away in the other direction. <laughs> I know, because um, I watched this video the other day. This is um, police officer in Germany. He's had enough of that, right? Yeah. So he 
gets his mates to pull him over. He, he get his mate gets him out of the cab, come down to him, and he goes, "Oh, why are you taking pictures?" Um, just because I wanted to. He's like, "Do you want to see dead body?" And the Hungarian driver goes, "What?" He goes, "You take pictures, yeah, yeah, yeah. I took some pictures. Why don't you take a picture of the dead body?" And he went, "People are stupid." And he just stood there and went white, and I was like, "Oh, hey." And then this English driver, this English driver, come along all cocky, like and he goes, "Yeah, I'll have a look at the dead body because I don't believe you." He believed in Sound that. Right. He, yeah, he believes him now. Oh yeah. Do you know what? I'm gonna bring my American sniper back up, back up and breathe him. Thought you would. Nah, good film. Really, really enjoyed that. It's the only thing when you have so many mods, you lose everything. It's endless, isn't it? It's like the other day, I, I got some more mods for my DAF. And I was sitting looking for them, I couldn't find them anywhere. You realise that they're the not activated? It's like, oh, hang on, here it is. Oh no, my favourite one is you look for it and it goes, nope, and then you go, oh, I forgot to activate it, and you have to go back out to Pro so you have to wait for that to load, click yep. the mod, make sure that oh. mod manager gets on with it, and then you like, continue the game, and then you sit there, especially with Pro Mods, and you wait for five minutes, you know, you go and have a bath, have a shower, have a haircut, come back, still loading, and then it's like, boom. Oh, I know that feeling. And you're like, oh, finally. And then the ATS just sits there and loads in like three seconds. Don't know why everybody's slowing down. Nice view. Hello. 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 Got my V8 sound mod on. There's a good V8 um, sound. There's a good um, open open pipe sound from a truck around in my area. But every time I, I yeah, by the time I hear it, it's already up the hill. <laughs> <laughs> if you can hear my game, let me know. I'll just turn down the sound. That's right. Don't worry. Phone. Yeah, I get that. You know your text all day, and then you sit down, and suddenly everybody's ringing you. Yeah. Yeah. It was typical. The only time I don't put my phone on mute or something, it's it decides to go off. But when it's on mute, nothing. Uh, I was reading. Um, there was a press release from the DFB today saying that they've tested all 1,700 players of the. Bundesliga and Bundesliga 2. Oh, yeah. And 10 have confirmed still. Uh, That's not terrible. Well, it's not terrible, but. You That's know, enough. Yeah, for a league that wanted to come back as soon as next month. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately. It's... Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, it sucks, but like you said, it's done for the season. Yeah. But the season's pretty much gone now, right. isn't it? So. Well, no matter what happens, right. if they're like, oh yeah, nobody gets relegated, Leeds and West Brom are going to go mad. Yeah. And Excellent. rightfully, right. I would. Because them two have been the class of the championship all year. Oh, yeah. And personally, we all want Leeds to get promoted so we don't have to see him again next year. Of course. Please, I think, Mark. I think Leeds have a lot of potential, but they don't use it. Yeah, they still rely on Patrick Bramford. Yeah. Any time he was good was when he played for Derby and scored them three worldies against Forest. Yeah. On, exactly on deforestation day. But 
While everybody's still like, oh my god, Patrick Bamford is the best. No, he's not. There's a goal line. There's a goal line pouch. Goal, goal line pouch. Hang on. Oh, I'll think of the word. Ooh, nice Bulgarian word. Uh, I might be based out of Berlin. I might come and join you. Yay. Friend. Is it bad that I've lost Berlin on the map? There is. Next door to Poland. If you go into Poland, oh. just look left. I do it all the time. I know where it is. I can drive to it pretty much like without looking at the sat nav, but. Looking for it on the map, my mind goes blank. Porsche, please watch yeah, and you're like, it's over there somewhere. I know it's over that way somewhere. Yeah. I mean, you go look in Poland and go look everywhere else. Mm. I think I might start a whole new profile and do like... Nick Proxy. Start from beginning and then purchase my own truck and... Make some more make enjoyable. Make a YouTube series out of it. Or Twitch or something, I don't know. On oh, my newest account, that's now my old account, I did that so no I didn't do that actually I did it on this account on the other one I just cheat engine because it was quicker yeah I know it's easier to cheat engine in yeah. but now, this is the profile that I had ages ago because I thought it was just an issue with the profile so I thought right that'll fix all the flares and give me back the beacons flashing in ETS no so I was like, oh, that's a flare fix mod, and I can't use the trailers I want to use without it, so... Yeah. It's a debate all the time. At the roundabout, take the second exit. That's the only thing I had problems with. My game kept crashing because of a mod, and every time I took the mod off, it would still crash. Yeah, it's like it became dependent on that mod. Yeah. Yeah, I hate that. I lost so um, many accounts due to that. Now. I've messaged the mod creators and stuff, and they say it's funny and stuff. I was like, well, I'll wait till 137, get it fully updated, get everything updated, then I can see it. If it does it again, then I'll ask for a refund. But yeah, that's what they're going to claim in it. You got to wait. Got to make sure you opted out of all betas on Steam, and it's like, yeah, I've done that. Next. Yeah, I'm never in betas. No, nah, neither have I. I tell the game to tell me when it needs an update so I can do it. Yeah, same as me. It's the only way to do it really, isn't it? That's the safest way to do it without breaking anything. Oh yeah. So I've had it before when I've left it to auto-update and it will crash all my games up. So like all my profiles go because I ain't got nothing. And No more demanding than my sister. Oh, speed on. Boink. Boink. I'm going this way, you stupid sat nav. I'm going the exact way you're telling me, oh, because it's a border, that's why. <laughs> oh, Caution. Bulgaria Here's to Serbia. Speed. Yeah, Bulgaria to Serbia. It's bad when you can just look at the flags and know which country they are. Oh, it's good that you know them. I look at some of them and I tell them it's like Mexico or something and I don't know where the hell I am. It's like I'm an American truck, I don't ask me. Yeah, the states confused the crap out of me, but. Yeah. Yeah. Cold Customs new lorries are out on the road officially today. I know, I'll put some more photos up in the um, truck porn channel. Oh yeah, I so. saw. Yeah, I said porn on Twitch Tars now, you watch me get banned. <laughs> there you go, third time porn. Yeah, that's all. I'm getting a bit brave now. Yeah, Twitch, what are you going to do? <laughs> Here's where it comes up and goes, you've been banned. 
I'll be like, yeah, okay. <laughs> See, it's annoying because you get to Germany and it's all drive through borders from there. Yeah, 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 Bad idea, Pro Mod crashed. Uh oh. They're the only mods I had on this, my, uh, Ooh, on my profile. It come up on my little, you know, on the F5 bit? Yeah. It come up saying Serbia. Okay. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah, I know. I didn't even notice if they did it in Bulgaria, I'll let you know if there's again. If it does, I'll grab a screen grab. If I can remember well. Oh my god, my is crashing my game. Right order. Good point, but I can't watch, get um, version 245 to work. Uh, that's what that's I'm about to Death point! I want to go on Pro Mods now and have a look. Yeah, go on Pro Mods, recreate the death file. Because it says incompatible in my mod menu. All of them yeah. are marked red. Do your Exit now. death file. Go and do the stage one death file. And then obviously take if you're using special transport and rush map and all that. I always check for I'm using rush map because I had it in when I can be bothered. I don't really use rush map anymore. Used to. Well, don't take that option then. We'll go through the step one phase of creating your DEF file. Yeah, I'm just doing it now. That should work. Oh, I just didn't mean to put it in there. Just download it and put it in your mods and jump back in the game and have a look. If not, then I'd suggest deleting it and redownloaded it. Yeah. I'll have a look. Yeah. Are you tired? Me, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm quite surprised I'm awake, to be fair. I didn't go to sleep until like 8 this morning. Jesus. <laughs> I was playing Call of Duty all night. Oh, are you on that Warzone thing? No, I was just playing normal Call of Duty with like 6, 7 mates. I was going to say, Warzone's boring me now. Just get annoyed. Yeah, still get... says 245 is incompatible. Redownload. Delete up. Delete it all out your uh, folder. Yeah, I'm gonna delete. Oh, that's dead. close. I don't know. No, let me just delete all my pro mods because I have like pro mods back from version one point something. Yeah, download all. The, delete all the pro mods and re-download the two four five. Come on. Yeah. Have you got the Middle Eastern pack with yours? Nah. That really don't interest me. You? you know, it's long enough to Cyprus. Yeah, I suppose. I always enjoy a, a stupidly long drive, even if it's like 4,000 miles, I'll do it. Yeah, you could do it over a couple of days or something. Oh no, I'll do it one night. Oh, I do it quite often. It'll be like me and one of the other VTC owners. And we'll just sit and talk and we'll drive. And the next thing you know, it's 1 a.m. and you're driven like 5,000k. Yeah, that's it. Alright, so 145. Uh, no, 245. Yes, I've already done my diff. Skip to two. Generate one mod file because I cannot be bothered. Sit and download them all in manually. Yeah. Oh. Well. I can't be bothered with the weights, so I just pay for it. 
Oh, I would, but my my PayPal got hacked like a year ago. Now they don't believe me that it's me. That's weird. I had a similar thing like that happen, but it was different. I got mine back. Yeah, I contacted PayPal, told them, and they was like, no. Nah, don't believe hacked. you. They don't believe it's you, so we're not going to give you your account back. I was like, well, thanks. It's like, yeah, cheers, you're screwing me over here. Yeah, you'll be getting money out of it, but hey, but... It's the only thing downloading direct from ProMods is like 15 minutes per download. I'm actually knackered, I didn't realise I'm knackered actually am. If I knew that, I probably wouldn't have streamed. Okay, you have to download one at a time. Yeah. That's really annoying. Right, I'm going to wait up for that then. If you can hear, hear a drill in the background, that's my dad building a new table. Don't worry about it. I can't hear anything to be truthful. My neighbour's currently got the coronavirus, so she's raking her guts up somewhere. Oh, God. Yeah, i got one confirmed in isolation to the right of me, and then I've got two who are fannying about it. Isolation on the other side. Jeez. You know, one of the, pretty much got it then. I was going to say, like, the woman put a note, a really nice teddy in the window with a note saying, Hi, I'm in social isolation. What was it? Hi, I'm in social self-isolation. Um, please can you Caution. leave all please packages post and delivery at the window and tap on the window. So, coming back on papers this morning, posty, because he's the only posty doing my area for a bit. You know, what? so it takes it forever. He was walking up the alley of the woman's house. <laughs> like, to be fair, she had a nice sign, and I could read it at 20 past 6 this morning. So, I'm pretty sure he could. It's just how, if they want to pay attention. Yeah. Unfortunately, most postmen don't really pay attention at all. Now, nah, mum were alright until this all cracked off. Oh no, I've got some music. I've got to do that. Oop! There's a crash. Uh, what have I got to do today? I know I was supposed to go and do something, but my head's gone blank. I was supposed to go shopping with my mum, that's what I was supposed to do. So how are you keeping with all of this virus stuff? Just hanging in. Oh, no, for yeah, life. Yeah, life. Open me sister, don't get it on the front line. Oh, yeah, your sister's in, is it a nurse? Paramedic. Oh, jeez. She's training to be a theatre, though. She started training last September. Right. She tries to do all the recovery bits before she learns to chop people up. Ah, right, fair enough. Yeah. Well, she's a HCA. What she wants to do then? She wants to chop people up. Yeah, she was HCA for a few years for her apprenticeship. What? And then she moved to paramedic, and now she's learning theatres whilst being a paramedic. Okay. That's whoa. That's why the road's closed. Oh yeah, like a fighter jet's gonna be transported like that. <laughs> yeah. You'd be surprised. There is a few that do get transported like that. Me and me, I've got two local RAF bases, and the decommissioned ones they'll stick on back of flat lo uh, flatbeds and low loaders and just transport them. What? Not with even like wrapped? Yeah. Oh, didn't know that. 
But it's only like two mile away, so they'll do it at like two o'clock in the morning. Oh, yeah. The early mornings of the day, so nobody's in the way. Yeah. Because living in central London, you see random stuff all the time. Yeah, I guess. It's just mad every time I've been down there to watch Derby play Fulham. Well, oh, three of them trips were horrible, and one trip was really nice. And one of the. The first trip I ever did down there was the brilliant one. We were 2 0 down, 40 minutes on clock. Pulled, Chris Martin missed a penalty, it was 2 1 because Darren Bennett scored. It's just 2 1 Fulham. And then Kel Rue plays an absolute blinder of a second half, and the next thing we know is it's 5 2. And we're all, we're all going, we want more. <laughs> and then. And then on the way back, Barbie called their supporters, coaches, road rider. And oh, on the yeah. way back, all the other road riders went up the M40 off the M25, and we went up yeah. the M1, and I realised why they went up the M40. Because the M1 was closed. Oh dear. Both ways for 10 miles. Oh, don't. Yeah. Poor biker was overtaking, somebody just pulled out on him, and oh, he was hit that hard with that much speed that he lost, well, half of his head was hanging off. Oh. Yeah, so that wasn't a very nice sight at two in the morning. No, I bet it was. After, you know, you're on a high because Derby just beat Fulham like 5 2. And then you get on the coach, you don't leave till about cracking on for 10. But when I've been. Oh, when I've been. What am I doing? There we go. Um, where was I? Yeah, we left London at about. Half 10, 11 o'clock. Yeah. Uh, seen all of them dart up. Well, we managed to get out of the traffic eventually. And then we seen all the other cars not go on the motorway. So we got on the motorway anyway. And the M25 was like, right, M1 closed. And the driver's like, oh yeah, it'll be done by the time we get there. Caution. Please watch so, yeah, the right, speed. It's four and a half hours we sat there. Caution. Please mind the speed. Like that. Yeah. I went down a couple more times and it just became too expensive. Yeah, it's Please always expensive speak. traveling down there. Yeah, always. But it's weird if I wanted to travel up, like towards you, it's probably half the price. Yeah. What about that? What about that friend said that she gets the train from Tamworth to London because it's like. 30 quid cheaper than getting it from Burton, which is like another 8 miles up the line. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because I was supposed to do that with Avanti down to London. And then that trip didn't... Yeah. Didn't come to fruition, should we say. Slight things have changed. Yeah. Like the fact that nobody's using public transport. Well, public transport down here is terrible at the minute. Is it? Yeah. You're looking every hour a bus. Wow. What, every hour in London? Yeah. Jeez. I know you furloughed 20,000 jobs from both rail and buses and transport for yeah. London as a whole. It's like in my local area, there's one bus that pulls to my house, well, near my house and then takes you to a bus terminal. It takes like normally 20 minutes, a bus. Now it's like every hour and 30 minutes. Jesus. So if I need to get anywhere, luckily I don't use public transport anymore. Fortunately. Yeah, thankfully. I, I could not get on public transport again. A lot of people say that. That's why I was able to experience the underground when I was down there for the Team Brit meeting, but that didn't go ahead. Oh, which sucked. Honestly, the underground in like, central London is awful. Wow, okay. Never heard a Londoner say that before. It's awful. You can get on... Alright, it's quick transportation. Like You can get from A to B in dumb time. Yeah. But it's... 
the drunks that you get on the trains, the people that don't care. People like, smell. Like my sister was pregnant about six, eight years, no, six years ago, and we got on the train and there was this family of, uh, Keep right, like, and then exit right. I have a distinct lack of the self-discipline or self-hygiene. Yeah. They, they, they didn't care. And we got on the train and I asked the mum if she could get one of her daughters to move and she went, no, we don't know you who you are, we won't move for you. Oh, well, you don't have to move for me, but it's my sister that's pregnant. That's oh, not wow. my fault, oh. she uh, got Please pregnant. Yeah. It's like, really? Watch. How do people speed. live with no manners and not respecting? I don't get it. I genuinely don't these days. Left and then turn left. I only to turn left, I'm gonna have to break the law again. Turn left. Even if you go to Amber I'm going through. Well you you've put some miles in. What do you mean? You've done a fair few mile already, haven't you? Uh, I think so, yeah. I don't know where I'm where I'm, I know I'm in both great because it's just popped up. I need to blow my nose is what I really need to do. Fucking hay fever only comes out at night. Oh, um, <coughs> I've made it. I made it to an hour and twenty-seven minutes without swearing. I'll take that. Oh, I'm I'm bad. Trust me. The amount of times I nearly sat here and swore, but I've kept my mouth shut. Uh, if you say what you want to say, you know, freedom of speech. Oh no, but I don't want to give you a bad mark on your channel and stuff. Mate, my channel's already marked because I've been holding my breath in the last few weeks about what happened so fair enough it's just annoying when you get to a seven hour mark in a flipping enduro and you're done and it's like three months worth of prepping and testing and practicing yeah but i'm not saying it's our fault it wasn't our fault actually we got it by a gt3 car that couldn't be bothered to wait you know all we asked him to was wait till the next corner but no he had to send it up there didn't like it the next corner he just nerfed us Completely on. Straight on. Oh god. I bet that must have been a bun man. Yeah, well. Yeah, uh, managed to get out of doing another stint. We had to retire the car, it was just too much damage. Yeah. They ain't doing that. Absolute pet eight. What dashboard have you got on the middle of your uh, Renault? That one. The one that's got like the cruise and stuff on it. Uh, I've got cruise control, fuel to empty, uh, air. Airbag pressures, uh, fuel mileage, fuel range, okay. oil and battery. Is that custom one or? Uh, yeah, no, yeah, no, 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 yeah, it might be actually. I don't know. I was gonna say I've not seen it look like that before. Yeah, it's a custom one then. I've got one installed, but I didn't think it was working. But now you said that, it's exit definitely working. Right. <laughs> Couldn't even go straight on if you wanted to. Flipping Keep rocks right. there and boulders. And then turn right. Right. Yeah, I'm turning right. Oh, you made worse than your sisters. Boom. We're gonna be asleep before the stream ends. Who, me? Yeah. Yeah, probably. <laughs> oh, it's been a mad weekend. I didn't recover much from last week. Uh, I didn't sleep last night at all, in the end. Oh, I'm, I'm honestly sitting here on fumes at the minute. Yeah. I don't know how I'm awake. Honestly, I can see why I'm like a bird. If I still feel this bad, I'm probably going to stop. Because I can't focus at all at the minute. Caution. Please mind Fair enough. Speed. That's not that. flipping annoyed because I've been looking forward to this all day. And then all day I've sight of energy. And then now it's like... Ugh. You slowly wore off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like at the minute, they're saying stay well rested.